Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race and we are working on Salty today. I've been coming over here and finishing up all the welding on the front end on this thing. We're almost there and then I'm gonna start working on smoothing out some of the little spots in the engine bay. So then hopefully we can get this thing all painted up. I've also been ordering a bunch of things, getting stuff coming for the build, as well as trying to sell things like the old wheels and tires, the old front bumper support, and also cleaning up the shop so I get some workspace in here because man, has it been a freaking mess in here. Today what I'm gonna be working on is cutting out this rear torque arm area to put this new cover for more room. Rock Solid sells that piece. I kind of already have it marked out as you guys can see right there. Uh, I'm trying to figure out exactly how I'm gonna do it. Like on Clyde, when I did the trans tunnel, it's almost like the same thing just in the back of the car. If the piece should go to the inside, to the outside. So I'm gonna get in there, mark it out. I actually looked on their website and noticed like where all the little notches are to kind of notch this panel here. So I'm gonna come in here and kind of lay that out a little bit better, just start cutting away. Try not to cut too big of a hole and just keep trimming it down. Weld it and then I'll body seal it and everything else kind of like what I did on the Mazda on that trans tunnel. So another thing that we we're looking at working on is installing this bulkhead because we got to kind of get it laid out. Why I have to run this is because I also got the fuel and ice water tank from Rock Solid. So the fuel tank is now going to be here in the T-top area. So to match NHRA rules, I have to have some sort of like rear firewall bulkhead deal to help protect me from the fuel tank in case it sloshes or bursts or any of that stuff so fuel doesn't go up into the driver compartment so i was looking at this i was like well how do i want to install it and what's going to be the best way to do this so if i need to remove this to get to the fuel tank or whatever i mean it's accessible but to remove it this would have to come out which brought me to needing to order something else that i've seen used on other builds that i wanted to use on this build so i ended up ordering this little kit pretty cool little deal so this is a nutsert tool, comes with a bunch of different sizes and everything here, and then a bunch of nutserts, and then the tool that helps you install them. So you screw the little piece on, so you screw this little fitting on here, you drill your hole for the nutsert, and then you go ahead and pop it into the panel. So I think what we're gonna do is drill a few holes through here. I need to really patch up the trap door Chances are, if you got an F buddy, you got a trap door cut in this thing. So, uh, and then we'll come back and put those little things in here. I'm thinking about putting a little rubber seal on it too to knock down on noise. I've really been trying to take time and think about how to make this build just a little bit better, a little bit nicer. So then when we're doing the drag and drives, we're not getting near as much noise rattles and stuff. It's gonna be worse than it was because I don't have near as much sound editing and stuff like that in the car. Something else that I picked up from this build that I didn't really know where to find it, but I did enough Googling and found this kit with a whole bunch of Deutsch connectors. So anything from, I believe this is a 12 pin down to two pins with all the connectors, little crimping tool and everything so then this i'm going to use to really wire up the car on this build we're going to end up redoing all the wiring for like the headlights tail lights where everything connects because we got rid of the complete body harness so i really wanted a nice wiring kit so i'm not using just regular butt connectors and all that crap so went ahead and invested into one of these kits to help with wiring it um, i can drop a link if you guys are interested let me know as to where to get these things they're pretty cool they're handy they're expensive but i think they're going to be well worth it when it comes time to wire so I'm going to go ahead and grind all of this stuff out of here, kind of smooth in the flooring. And then I think I'm gonna use what they call lizard skin on the floor, firewall, and around the trans tunnel to help kind of knock down on some of the heat, the noise, vibrations, and all that stuff. So then when I'm actually out driving this car, I enjoy it and I wanna drive it more. So trying to make this car easy to work on, nice fit and finish a little bit better than anything else I've done and uh, something I'll enjoy driving and it's just not a bunch of rattles and clinks and bangs as you're driving down the road, but it is a race car, so it will definitely have some of that stuff. So as you guys can see on each of them little ribs, it kind of sticks up. So I'm gonna need to come in, kind of mark them and kind of trim those so then it falls on top of it. Otherwise, what I did is I marked out where it is and where I wanna cut, and then I could always come back, cut the inside and then fold it into itself and finish sealing it after I weld the inside of it. So it kind of makes it like a little double pinch seam. And otherwise, that's gonna give us all the all the room to lower the car and torque arm. As you can see, right here is where it was beating it up and starting to rip through the original body and everything. So it was time to uh, upgrade that. 
So the big reason for this kit is the lower you get the car and the more the torque arm moves, the more it'll beat it up. So if you ever want to drop the car really low and you're running an aftermarket torque arm or probably even the factory torque arm where it mounts to the rear end, it'll actually hit the body. So it's the biggest reason for doing this kit is so then I can get the car lower to the ground. I think we can all agree that if the suspension is hitting the body, that it's probably not good for anything involved in that. So I got most of it cut all the way around. There is an outer brace that runs through the back here that I gotta actually cut through further. And my blades don't quite go all the way to it. So I'm going to uh, try to grab my sawzall and zip that off. And then I'll start cleaning it up around the edges and see how it fits. Ox is here getting all the new suspension pieces and everything unwrapped. They wrapped it up nice and good, huh? Yep. <laughs> so, I ended up getting new upper, lower, and rear adjustable arms. And then this is the short torque arm, so I can get rid of all the stock BMR stuff and upgrade to a little bit nicer rear suspension for the car. So once it goes back together, we have new front, for the most part, new rear. And uh, other than the coilovers, we're keeping all that stuff, because that was already stuff I had already bought and is all still pretty good stuff. So starting to work on getting all those pieces and parts and make sure that we have everything needed to finish putting it back together once we get it together. But of course we want to paint all the front end and all that stuff first. Squirrel. So it took a few minutes and finished getting the rear end out. We've been needing to do this because I want to put a double bead lock on the car. And to do so, the wheels will need to be not a seven and a half inch backspace, but like a five, four and a half, somewhere in there. Uh, you can't get a double bead lock in a seven and a half. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this back, get it all pulled apart and decide if I'm just gonna order some new axles and all that stuff. I already actually have the ends right here to uh, shorten the axle up. So kind of work in progress. Alex helped pull all that stuff. I'm gonna jump back in, finish cutting up my little hole. So we got all the room for the new torque arm. Right, Alex? Yes, sir. You guess so? Yes, sir. Put your money on it. <laughs> I'll put your money on it because it's your car. This is all my money. I spent it. <laughs> so I ended up taking a little bit further and got the whole rear end disassembled. I'm going to hopefully get a little steering section. That's a 390 gear. I want to go to like a 325, 30, depending on what training I get. Maybe a 350 gear. And then, um, yeah, so that's all out. I can actually cut some of this stuff off and this because that's not needed. We need to shorten the whole axle up by, I think, two inches each side. Get that all put together. We'll repaint it and then it will be ready to go back in with the new suspension parts. And now we got a big hole. No rear end, no nothing. Still need to patch that, but hey, we're getting there. And actually, uh, and I also went ahead and went ahead and cleared these little spots. This one's a little gapped away from the body, so as I weld it, I'll kind of have to pinch it in. But I think I'm at a point where I can kind of set it in there, tuck it in place, and then start massaging the metal around it. I went ahead and ground on it some, so then when I'm welding, I'm into good material. I'll probably wire wheel it too once I get the two lined up. I also don't want to forget, so I added a little cut at an angle here, here, down here, and over there. So, once I go to put that panel in, I can take and kind of bend that other plate up and kind of pinch the seams together so then they're, it's not holding itself. You can kind of like move it together and make like a double seam right there. So gonna go ahead and get that in there get it tacked and then there will be quite a bit of work in welding and massaging those two pieces together but at least that'll be in and then we can start working on welding and massaging the rest of the interior for paint as I weld that went ahead and also pulled back out the steering rack and column so we can start really just start um, scotch brighten and clean up the engine bay like I said earlier welding some of the spots up so we can get this thing welded up let me know what you guys think. Should we paint it white? Should we go black engine bay? I really go back and forth on those because the car will be white and I, th I like the white, but then the white gets dirty easy. So let me know what you guys think. We're definitely going black on the floor of the car with that like lizard skin stuff. So those will be some cool videos that we'll be doing here in the future as well. And now we have a tacked in torque arm cover, tunnel clearance item thing in the back of the car. So I think that is it for today, guys. Short update on the Camaro and we got some stuff done. We just keep chipping away on it as we get some time. 
but we're going to be on this more and more and more going forward because it's almost winter time it's going to be cold and there's going to be nothing better to do than to work on the car in the garage right alex i guess so maybe maybe not so all right guys uh hit that subscribe button like this video if you like it and we will see you guys in the next video